this looks like every other Model 3 in South Florida. So I think it's time I change that. <sighs> About to get my Casey nice that on. So this, this is a Tesla Model 3. Every Model 3, as it should, comes exactly the same from the dealer. So it's up to the owner to make it their own. For them to add the little accessories and unique touches to make it stand out. I myself added a few accessories back when I purchased the car. Go in, man. Go, no, I'm trying to grab this one. And over time, added some additional ones that I'm gonna go over. Some were required, like the floor mats. Some because why not? So the mats, like everything in this list, came from Amazon. The design that you see in the mats helps with collecting dirt and dust from my shoes, which is perfect for cleaning out the vehicle. I normally just hose them down. Uh, the set came with two for the front and one for the back. The reason why, because if you got a standard range or standard range plus Model 3, you did not get floor mats. Surprise! I'm not sure if any other car brand does that, but Tesla does, and that was something I was made aware of. The dash is actually a faux leather textured sticker bought from Amazon that covers over the original wooden dash that came with the car. The reason I wanted this is because if you saw the original standard range mock-ups, they did come with a black dash instead of a wooden one, which I kind of thought was nice, a nice little change from the other models. But of course, when we all got them, they're pretty much all standard range, plus with software locked batteries. I bought the sticker, applied it, wasn't too bad, but also wasn't the greatest one. One that did pretty good was this console wrap. This is the Matrix Black console wrap. Changed the design a lot because any owners who have a Model 3 know that the original console is a fingerprint magnet and not scratch resistant at all. So getting the console wrap was kind of required and this one has a pretty good texture to it along with this card holder for your Tesla key card. Inside the console is this 3D printed tray which holds some miscellaneous things where the phone holder went I actually replaced with a third party tap this wireless charger that is connected to a backup battery um, which is plugged directly into the car so it's just got a continuous charge what you can't see on here a screen protector for the 15 inch touchscreen in the car I'm not sure if what it's really doing it you know essentially you want to do it so you can keep the glass protected and not crack it i'm not sure if anybody does that but i'm very sure it's happened and then finally the roof because we live in south florida needed some kind of protection from the sun or my head needed some kind of protection from the sun so that required me to get one of these which is a mesh cover for the glass Yes, I have the car tinted, but that does not stop South Florida sun rays. I swear it's a different type of sun down here. So after I added all these additional things, I was browsing online and I decided to shop around for three more things. One of them was a set of trunk struts that opened the trunk fully. I'll show that here because sometimes you just want to walk up to the back of the vehicle and not have to lift it. It's called first world problems or laziness. Two. Tesla DIY Chrome Delete Kit. Now, a DIY version, you say? Because if you go to any professional shop or shop in general, they're gonna charge you upwards of $500 to apply it. And you know, if you feel like you might be able, you want me, you're not gonna do a better job than a professional. But if you have the ability to do it yourself, the patience at least, of course I'm gonna try it. And three, Rimatrix Aero Cover Kit. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but what is a Rimatrix Aero Kit? So you know me, I'm on the reddits almost daily and I come across a post showing a Kickstarter for an alternative aero cover for the Model 3. This is in February of 2020. Now it really caught my attention because there weren't that many options for hubcaps for the Model 3 but there were a lot of variations for wheelbases where you could get rims or the aero caps that I got or the many other ones that you could see on the Tesla website or even third party options available. Now, why does somebody want hubcaps on their brand new futuristic looking car? No matter how ugly they are, hubcaps provide uh, efficient mileage for both gas or electric vehicles. So even though I could definitely ride around with how the car is right now, I just wanted to make 
a slight change on it. So then I get sucked into the kick. I put down my $140 since it was the early bird window and I was trying to be careful with something that I hadn't seen. Also note, buying them at this time would show an estimated delivery date of July of 2020. I'm currently purchasing these hubcaps in February of 2020. That's a four month gap. Now that's kind of normal in this e-commerce world, but buying something sight unseen, eh, might get you a little weary. But I did do that with this car, and I did that with a previous boosted board, and this would be the third product I bought. So currently I'm like two for two, make this two for three. So closer towards the delivery date, I get a little bit more hype. So I went ahead and picked up the Test Bros Chrome Delete Kit that I've shown in the past and thought that I'll do this setup uh, around July of last year. And then we got the updates. So like many other companies and projects around the world last year, uh, things got delayed. The pandemic slowed down the production of materials, which in turn had our creator push back the delivery date and push it back 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 and push it back. Until finally, end of January comes around and we start getting notifications and updates saying that deliveries would actually begin. Uh, backers finally started showing pictures and commenting that they were receiving them until I finally got mine on March 21st. Yes, like I said, one whole year later. Guess that's the sacrifice of backing a Kickstarter, right? Of course, a few people had asked for refunds in between it, so that kind of pushed the backers in the back up a little closer towards you know their estimated time and I appreciate you and in person they look pretty nice Now between 2017 and 2020, the Model 3 didn't have a Chrome delete and it didn't have the auto trunk feature. There's also a few other little items that they added like the center console being matte and actually a different uh, material altogether. But now 2021, a lot of these features are gonna be default going forward, including the S and the X also having that black trim. The Y was the first one to have these options. So I guess it made sense to kind of have a uniform amongst all the Tesla models that they have in the lineup. But for everyone prior, a lot of the aftermarket parts were sold through third party websites. So you could pretty much build the version of car that you wanted. So I guess I'm making a poor man's 2021 black Model 3 with the Uber turbine wheels. Let me go wash the car. OJ, what's up? So this is whack. During that little montage you saw of me washing my car, pretty much halfway through the washing phase, and my pops comes out and tells me, hey, it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow and the next day. So essentially I just washed my car for no reason, one. And two, 
it's not gonna make sense for me to try and put the chrome delete on especially when if it rains I don't have enough heat to help it stay and apply and I don't know I don't know how I'm not a professional remember and just to confirm that I'm going to check the weather and right now it looks mad nice like right now it looks like minus rain so everything looks favorable but this is Florida and as I said or as you may have seen in the weather yesterday it was sunny I washed my car finished it around 7 30 and then it rained at like 9 10 o'clock at night so checking the actual weather this says okay so it says it's 88 in Hollywood I'm close enough to Hollywood so I call that my weather and we got a 34% chance from 3 p.m. onward 81 at 4 so I'm gonna get something done I'm not gonna let this take the day away from me so I think I'm gonna get the struts done and then I can put on the hubcaps and then I'll hit up the vinyl next week I guess that's another Sunday I guess I should get things together So the plan for today is to at least get the aero caps installed and the trunk strut. Because at the moment if you try and open it, it only opens that far. So hopefully the struts shoot it up a little higher. several months later. Stopped all that. Night night, Mr. Krabs. Oh yeah! 